Mr. and Mrs. Speed and Camry Curto. A woman's wedding day is one she never forgets, except when it comes to Camry Curto, who lost all her memory seven years ago when she gave birth to her son, Gavin. She just didn't know who she was, didn't know who I was, didn't know she even just gave birth to, to Gavin. Camry was seven months pregnant when the trouble began. She ended up having a grand mal seizure. It was undiagnosed preeclampsia. She ended up going eclamptic. And so they did an emergency C-section. They saved our son's life, which we're truly blessed. He's just Perfect. an incredible little boy. Camry was put in a medically induced coma. When she woke up, she began hallucinating and acting strangely. It became clear she had suffered some brain damage. She had a very long seizure and therefore um, had lack of oxygen to her brain, which caused an anoxic brain injury. Camry had her motor function and was healthy, but she lost all of her memories. Our wedding, she has no idea of it. Uh, our first date, um, the first time we met when we met that night, um, the baby shower. Camry also wasn't able to create any new memories. You have all of these different parts of your brain, and when there's injury, we don't know specifically what is exactly injured, but in Camry's case, both sides of her brain are affected, and both places where memories are stored, created, all of that is affected. Steve, a first-time dad, was devastated. With someone you think you're gonna spend the rest of your life with, and then they end up not knowing who you are anymore, or that you have a child, that's a pretty hard pill to swallow. I became mom and dad. I did, you know, all the skin-to-skin -skin contact. All the NICU nurses really helped me out, showed me how to burp them, feed them, bathe them. They really gave me this, like, tutorial of how to be a dad really quick. The first several weeks were incredibly difficult. I've heard plenty of stories of her mom would sleep next to her because Camry would wake up in the middle of the night and start just ripping her stitches out from her C-section because she didn't know why she had them in her stomach. She had no clue she was just recently pregnant. She had no clue that she had a son at that point. And her mom would tell her these things. You know, Camry, her mom actually had a book with a bunch of pictures and writing and her mom was amazing at reorienting her. She'd say, Camry, you just had a son and his name is Gavin and that's why you have that mark in your stomach. But she, it was like minute to minute. But slowly and with a lot of repetition, Camry was able to start learning things from the faces of her husband and son to changing diapers and getting ready in the morning. I was staying at my mom's house on my makeup bag. She like drew a picture of a face like mascara goes here, lipstick goes here, you know, like, all the steps. It was almost probably like raising me again to be an adult. To cope with their journey, Steve wrote the book, But I Know I Love You, inspired by something Camry said to him in the early days of her memory loss. We were sitting on the couch one day, she's like, I don't know where I'm at, I don't know who you are, but I know I love you. And so I'm like, I was blown away, I'm like, it always stuck with me. Despite working hard with her occupational therapist, Camry still struggles with memory loss. She doesn't recall being pregnant. She doesn't even recall two weeks ago. When you go to the grocery store, I'll run into people and they'll look familiar, but I will have no idea who they are or anything. So, so many people go, oh, hi, Camry, blah, blah, blah. And so I just kind of go with the conversation. And then I look at him like, who was that? I don't know. <laughs> but the couple takes it in stride and faces each new challenge with humor and a smile. Okay. She is hilarious. Camry uses humor to get through every day. And if you just focus on all the negative and everything that's been taken away, you're not going to be going anywhere. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Johanna Lee.